Hello, Ajit. Yes, yes, Roman. Yeah, welcome. Good morning. Welcome. Now we will make our planned uh, video, and we uh, agreed to talk today about uh, one of the uh, frequent, maybe may, maybe one of the uh, most frequent uh, consequence uh, of uh, uh, this disease. I don't want yeah. to tell what disease. Um, yeah. Which is cough, and I would uh, I would start from uh, uh, one case we received in our group to discuss mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. the case where we have a periodically bouts of spasmodic cough, and mm -hmm. the height of on at the height of uh, the attack, uh, the person may lose conscious. So once he coughed so much that he lost conscious and uh, fell down and didn't know how, how long he had lain. Uh, he was alone at home, seizure are very rare, and yeah. consciousness loses only if he coughs and cannot breathe. Mm -hmm. uh, Whistles of the head uh, are norm. In history, he had the uh, allergic and the uh, rhinitis. Cough occurs more often against um, the background of a cold, uh, but an allergic component is not excluded. Uh, now, what you uh, suggest uh, in such case and uh, uh, how you will treat this uh, fit of cough with loss of consciousness? The first thing which is very important in this case is a connection between the cough as a spasm and with the brain where you will find this access, the lung, the respiratory system and the brain. And this axis is very important for the selection of remedy. So if you take the first remedy, which you must think with fainting, with unconsciousness, with this big intense spasmodic cough, it is like a convulsion. So this axis is covered very well by cuprum metallicum. So the first remedy which you could think of is cuprum. There is a very interesting, uh, uh, you see, beginning of the cuprum metallicum write-up by C.M. Boger in Synoptiki. He writes, you see, suboxidation. With cuprum metallicum, this suboxidation is very important. The fainting, the unconsciousness has something to do with oxygen. So when the oxygen is depleted, there is a uh, hypoxia to the brain. Then the brain goes into transitory phase of unconsciousness. This is also cuprum metallicum. A second remedy which you could think of. <coughs> Sorry, Ajit, I will buzz yeah. I, I will interrupt yeah. here. I recollect one case uh, yeah. I saw uh, when you took a case of a child uh, with a fit of uh, breathlessness and the, the child wanted uh, uh, his mother always with him. And uh, you took a rubric uh, uh, holding mother and we saw the cuprum in this rubric in a three mark. Yes. So this is another thing, spasm and holding and desire to be uh, together with mother. And with Kuplam, <clears throat> there is a very interesting concomitant symptom of fears. Kuplam is a remedy which has fears and along with that, a kind of a uh, feeling of being great. The original proving is about I am an army general, as if I am a very big man from the army. Mm. So the issue is I am a big man, army, battle, war is going on, fears are there. But I have to fight and I will fight. This is Kupra Metallicum. Otherwise, also in the life of a person, when you see that uh, a patient sees the whole uh, life as a war, 
Take for example, hippal self has the same theme. Ferrum group in general, especially ferrum metallicum, has also the same theme. You know, I am in a war and I have to quarrel a lot with the people. Then actually fight. So I, I am on the forefront of a fighting and I'm seeing a lot of dead bodies and blood around me. This is ferrum. It is very interesting that uh, when we began today the discussion with uh, bombing and uh, explosions and everything, so you will find the theme of war comes up, then cuprum comes up, then ferrum comes up, then hippar comes up, then aconite and arsenicum. These are the remedies that come up. Yeah, we have to take into consideration. And it is not uh, uh, unexpected uh, when uh, cuprum in the rubric clinging, holding, yes. And to yeah. try to, to hold something when everything is. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Roman, the issue, issue with uh, copper in general is that of trembling. So when we are talking about grasping, I want to grasp, but because of the uh, extra motions, heavy, exaggerated motions, I cannot grasp. So individual is very, uh, you see, uh, uh, engage, he's active, he has energy. He wants to use his energy in the life, but the energy cannot be controlled very well. So you will find that I cannot grasp now. You know, you are running and um, it is not possible to grasp because you are in motion. This is Kupram Metallica. And interestingly, the big general he has to be, you know, very good in most, yes. very direct, very this correct, design. correct, <laughs> because he's the army general man. Yes, this is precise and very chaotic, yes. chaotic general. This is chaotic, chaotic army. Chaotic. So yes. chaotic organism, chaotic soldier of uh, army is cuprum uh, uh, with uh, clinging and with uh, seizures and with breathlessness and with correct. All this correct. Now to corroborate what you are telling, if you see the same theme of energy and motion, coculus indicus can be compared with cuprum metallicum. It is interesting, you know, I have already uh, talked about this. In coculus indicus, the theme is that I'm in a car. There is a very strong motion which is going on with the speed of the car, but my body, my system, my mind is unable to adjust with the speed of life. So with Kupram, there is a difficulty in grasping. So he is himself is very speedy and cannot grasp it. In coculus, exactly opposite state is there. I am slow. I am lethargy. I am indolent. And I have become so slow that I cannot grasp the speed of life. So the theme of uh, Coculus and the theme of uh, cuprum metallicum. If we take the energy of the system, they are at a different level. Yeah. Yeah. Very interesting. Uh, uh, I remember this uh, once a case uh, uh, with coculus uh, where a person said, I recognize everything, but cannot move, cannot do anything and there is such rubric in a in the mind uh, chapter exactly exactly for yes. this sorry to interrupt after cuprum you wanted to tell a uh, second remedy for in consideration remedy, okay. which has uh, the theme of fainting uh, during cough is phosphorus phosphorus is also a very strong remedy where you will find the axis of the brain and lungs is very, uh, you see, connection. This connection makes, uh, uh, you see, phosphorus to lose the consciousness. You know, phosphorus as such is a very important remedy for fainting otherwise also. Not only fainting from hysteria or mind, but a fainting from n number of causes. Phosphorus being very sensitive can faint due to pains also. He can faint during convulsions. He can faint with a very severe weakness. 
in the same way being very sensitive he can faint out of bad news also and then there is a very sudden fear a panic reaction you know the rubric for panic is nothing but sudden fear so phosphorus is a very good choice in a unconsciousness with coughing yeah very good okay thank you ajit for this case yeah